Hi my gardening angels and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jess and today we're going to be opening some succulents. I also have some other fun little things that I wanted to show you that came in the mail recently that I thought you'd also be interested in. So let's get into it. I have my dirty knife <laughs> that I use for potting and taking cuttings. Um, but what I wanted to show you is something that I had already opened and I will be actually making a new video using these so stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't. But um, I have some different types of topsoils that I bought and so I have, um, these are from the Next Gardener and there's a whole bunch of different types you can kind of see them in this circle here and I'll show you a close up in a little bit, um, I'll pour them out in two. <clears throat> so first off I wanted to show you some new topsoil that I got or top dressings really I bought a white rock one um, a sandstone color one and then it's called black galaxy which I'm probably the most excited for um, all of these are bonsai rocks but you can use them easily for top dressing your plants such as succulents so here's what they look like these are the black galaxy stones here look at how beautiful and shiny those are oh those look so nice they're very fine but i think that'll make it even prettier in the arrangement and here are the white onks i think is what they called them um very matte very beautiful i think they'll look really good in contrast to this black galaxy one and then we have sandstone here and these are kind of a little mixture of the cream and so this one just looks very natural they have um, everywhere from clear to white to um, really that sandstone color and kind of a darker brown all right and before we jump into the succulents I did want to say that I got my sips by box of teas these are for my March ones um, I got some peach tea and this one's really cute it's a green tea and Earl Grey and a rose type tea so I'll be including a link down below if you want to check out the sips by box or sips by tea box subscription box oh whatever it is um but I'll include that down below I've been using I've been getting these boxes for about a year and using their teas and I absolutely love them it's so much fun to try a bunch of different new things and then they also give you coupon codes for the teas if you want to buy um kind of like a bigger supply of them so now let's get into the succulents. These came from California. I will say that um, it did take them a little while to get here. That is not on the seller's part at all. It was just, you know, I think they sent it out last Monday. So I'm a little, it's been about a week now. So I'm hoping that they look all good. We are tracking the package pretty closely. Uh, so the, my only concern is that they would be you know, maybe a little stretched out from the lack of sunlight for over a week. Um, but if anything, before I use them, I can just throw them under the grow light if I need to. But that, all of that's not on the seller at all. It's, you know, just kind of where we're at shipping wise. Now everything takes a little bit longer. So we got lots of cotton fluff here. I am so excited for this box, you guys. Oh, I see so many little goodies in here already. <laughs> okay. Do you guys see what I see? Oh, exciting. Okay. We'll just throw that on the ground. Okay, so we got lots of Burroughs tail sedum cuttings. And another one of those looks like I have four burrows tail and if I don't know the name I'll try to figure it out and put it on the screen here so that you guys can see but yeah I've got four very beautiful burrows tail sedum cuttings they look amazing oh and this one has a cute little baby so there's the main and there's the little baby nugget <laughs> those look beautiful so then got some more fuzzes here this looks like a bachelor buttons and mine must be the tom thumb version and this must be the actual button because these are massive 
It looks like we got a few of those cuttings. Oh, they look so good. I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful those are. Just fat and juicy. <laughs> okay. And then I'm really excited because I actually don't have string of pearls right now. Um, my last one got mealybugs and then I just never bothered to get another one. Um, so I have some string of pearls cuttings in here. I'm very excited. These look great. If I could pull them all out here, show you. Look at how good those look. So healthy. Okay, and then this is where I might not know what some of these are. Um, but I think I have this one. And I think this is like the kaleidoscope, but um, the Cal and Kobe kaleidoscope. I'll put the name of it on the screen here. But look at how cute that is. It has the little scalloped edges, little pink, little purple. Very cute. Then it looks like we have a Kalanchoe or Kalancho, however you want to say it. I say Kalanchoe. Kalanchoe Chocolate Soldier is going to be my guess. Very nice and fuzzy. Super cute. Love that one. Oh, here's another little Burroughs Tail Sedum. Ooh, I do not, oh, is this a chroma? Is that what it is? So pretty, look at how deep and beautiful red those edges are. Again, I'll put the names on the screen if I don't know them. Oh, and I, for the life of me, I feel like I know what this one is, but it's like, it always reminds me of little caterpillar cocoons or something, spiders. That one's really cool too. And um, I will include links down to everything that I show you guys here. These are assorted cutting mixes. Um, I think I have just kind of the random ones. And then I also have an Echeveria batch. So I'll show you guys both of those. Look at how cute that is. All of these succulents look awesome. Oh, and this one's so pretty. Some type of... Crassula, maybe. Very cute. And this one looks like a sedum of some sort. So pretty. Look at how bold those colors are. I was really worried with them being in the box for so long that these colors wouldn't be as vibrant, but they look awesome. Very cool though. Oh, and this one's so cute. I'm not even a quarter of the way done. This is awesome. Oh, and these are, and I think these are like the Aurora jelly beans or something like that. Is <laughs> what they call them. So pretty. Oh my gosh, this one looks gorgeous. Look at how pretty this one is. I love the color coral, so that one has my heart for sure. Okay, I'm afraid to keep going. There's so many goodies in here. Okay. Oh, we have a whole entire pot for this one. I bet these are the Echeverias. Oh my gosh. You guys are gonna like this one a lot. Everything's so clean too. They did a really amazing job. The next gardener is a succulent nursery out of California. Um, and again, I'll include their website down below. I really have enjoyed seeing what they have here. They package everything so beautifully. Look at this one. Look at that. So pretty. Man, this is so pretty. I don't know what type this is. It almost looks like Alola, but yet it's really pink purpley looking. Oh, this 
one's cute. Oh yeah. This one's great. <laughs> they just keep getting better. Look at this. So pretty. Look at the little blooms coming up. How gorgeous is that? Oh, and there's a little baby. So exciting. <laughs> okay, so I got two of those massive ones. And then these must be the assorted echeverias down here. Or assorted two inch ones. Very cute. Oh, this one's neat. It almost looks like a Pearl von Nuremberg, but it does not have that same purple coloring. It looks almost more of the same coloring as a Lola. Very interesting. Very pretty. Oh, these are just all so gorgeous. Oh yeah, look at that one. Oops. <laughs> so pretty. And the last one. Oh, this one's gorgeous too. Look at that. It's like a lavender color almost. And then it has these little shoots off the side too. <clears throat> wow. So that was all the succulents packed into that little box. Um, I am so impressed. Let me show you. Oh, wow. These are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that I was able to find all the names. If not, I'll let you guys know on the screen. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. And um, if you have any questions about purchasing from the next gardener, anything like that, obviously I had great results and nothing to complain about. All of these succulents look extremely healthy and happy. Oh, and this one has a little bud in it too way tucked down in there. So I am so excited. All of my cuttings, I'm going to be rooting in some soil here. Um, but honestly, how I'm going to go about doing that is I'm probably going to just use them in my arrangements and I will have them root in the arrangement that I do. So, um, you know, if I wanted to plant this little guy in my arrangement he doesn't have any roots on his bottom here but i'm just going to be sticking him in the soil and honestly that's how arrangements are really easy to make is if you just have cuttings or you can take cuttings yourself um, otherwise you can use already pre-potted succulents which i will probably do as well <laughs> in the upcoming arrangements but um, cuttings are really nice because you can really just tuck them in wherever and they'll grow their roots there so i'm really excited and these are absolutely gorgeous and I will keep you guys updated. I've really loved this unboxing. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, unboxing all of these gorgeous succulents with me. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know which one is your favorite um, down in the description box or down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already because you won't want to miss me putting these into a really fun arrangement. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.